Here's my aunt's 1989 two and a half ton carrier Type 2000. It's running, it's about 101 out maybe, something like that, and it's pretty humid, so. Obviously it's on, my aunt hardly ever runs it. Um, she has a thermostat set to 78. I wired in the thermostat myself, second thermostat I ever wired. I cleaned this out just back in May. So yeah, I cleaned it out in May, but since it doesn't run very much, it's still very clean. Again, the house is 1,500 square feet. Here are the lines. Ooh, those are cold and sweaty. Holy cow. That liquid line is hot. Jeez. Built with, built with Q plus quality, reliability, and pride. And I don't like how this thermostat wire is not in seal type. Hate that. That's a pet peeve of mine. Uh, model number 38TGO30300. Serial number 4089E046884. Or 4684. It's got R22. It has a Copeland. No. It has a Bristol reciprocating compressor. It's hot. You know, this, this thing's tiny. I mean, it, I'm about five feet tall, and this thing comes up to my. Probably not even two feet tall, and it's really quiet, actually, considering it has a burst on it. Carrier. Woo, carrier rocks, man. You gotta love a carrier. Can't beat them. Well, train can, but I mean, other than that, really can't. Disconnect box. And this house was built back in the 20s, so obviously it didn't originally have central AC. This is quiet, I'm about 10 feet away. Actually, that was about 8 feet away, maybe. So. Yeah, yeah. And then here's something interesting. Result of being an old house. Coal chute, Acme Coal Company. Pretty cool, I think. The, 90, the carrier furnace replaced the old, uh, the old uh, coal furnace. You can kind of see the outline on the floor where it used to be. And you can hear this Cumberland unit over here running. I'm going to go film it. Here's the flue pipe for the gas furnace from 1995 or 6 or something like that. And there's a two-ton Cumberland. Looks, It's made by train, and it looks like a tiny train Odyssey unit. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I'm going in. It's hot out. You can hear this noise. What head? Carrier Weathermaker 9200 furnace. From 1996, I think. It was made in late 95, but it's installed in 96, so. Here's a return. One of the only returns. There's three returns in the house. This one's a 14 by 8. That is sucking in a lot of air. And back here, take a look. Oh, there's a supply. That's blowing cold. Holy crap. Oh, ice cold air. And she has, my aunt has these really old, you know, since the house was built in the 20s. Um, and it originally had, it did have Forster heat. See the coal furnace outline right there? Can you see it? No. Um, hold on, let me switch to the video line. Oh, I see it. And anyways, yeah. She has those ancient registers, those wall registers, and they're really neat looking. Anyways, but I'd rather have new registers. I love new registers. Anyways, here's an old vent. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Over and out.